What's going on everybody? Welcome to Married to Film. I'm Ralph and this is Shimada. And right now we're at episode 14 of Lost. This one is called Special. Shimada, are you ready? Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Seems to hate it, doesn't he? What? Whoa! Being a dad? No, it's just a lot of hard work. Nah, he hates it. <laughs> Definitely my baby's crib. It will look great in the uh, alley we'll be living in. This is three months' rent. It's not three. Don't you want the best for this kid? I know you're excited, but Michael, we can't afford this. Our baby in this crib? Come on. That's a happy kid. <laughs> Man, I suck. You can do better than that. I want to take it easy on Picture it in your mind's eye. You know what that is, right? The mind's eye? Like a picture in your head? That's right. I'll do it again. But see it. See it before you do it. Come on! Whoa. Yes! You had it in your wall. Hey! What the hell's going on? Give me that. What? Take Vincent and go back to camp. Who is Now, little man, you gave my boy a knife. You should have seen what... Hey, don't tell me what I should have seen, man. We were back home. I called the police on your ass. Giving him a knife like this? Walt knows his own mind. Hey, don't talk to me about my son oh. like you do him. You really need to calm down. You keep playing my son against me. I'm gonna have a... Ah! Ah! You need to calm down. Ah! 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 Easy, easy, easy. You're the one that was waving the knife around. You're just trying to make sure you didn't hurt someone. As long as we're here, I think Walt should be allowed to realize his potential. Stay away from my son. <laughs> And me. You already took it, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Good mm -hmm. job. Mm -hmm. I can provide for him. I'll give him everything he needs. Except for his dad. He's not going with you, so no! You really want to argue with me about this? Hell yes! There are laws against this kind of thing. We are not married, Michael. I'm his mother, and I'm steadily employed. Who do you think the court's going to side with? This is not goodbye forever. Yes, it is. Go to a whole other country. Yeah, how are you going to afford to I get there? It's not like she's going to Canada or Mexico. I assume the French woman was trying to determine the location of the island. What are we talking about doing now? Looking for another excuse to get chased down and killed by whatever lives in the jungle? <laughs> so, are you suggesting something? Yeah. We build a raft. And we gotta do something, because, let's be honest, no one's coming. The chances of surviving the rough waters, the odds of finding a shipping lane. And I get really seasick. <laughs> but I'm doing this. My son and I are leaving. Anybody that wants to help us build, God bless you. Hey, Walt. Hey, come on. I need your help with something. I'm doing stuff. You're reading a comic book in Spanish, and you don't read Spanish, man. I like the pictures. You like the art, huh? I used to trace comic books. I taught myself about perspective. You know what that is? Hey! I said, uh, I need your help. Let's go. I know. Who's that? Let's talk tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, I'll call you tomorrow. What the hell is going on? I've been seeing someone. Who is it? The guy that hires you. Oh, oh dang. dang! I'm coming to Amsterdam. Michael, don't. It's over between us. I'm not coming for you. <laughs> I'm coming for Walt. I'm getting my son back. Oh! 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 Hey, separate the cushions, the plastic, the tarp. Put everything you find in different piles so we can take stock. Am I being punished? <laughs> don't you think working with your old man is punishment? This is us. Taking control of our destiny. <laughs> I could just go inside. Trick or treat. Mm. Do you have the diary or not? You bastard. Did you read it? Good literature is kind of scarce around here. You know? Who read it? Just give it to us. Dear diary, I'm getting really freaked out by that has been pop star. I think he's stalking me. Sawyer. Diary, the little limey runt just won't let up. <laughs> oh! Mm. Oh! Mm. oh. Boom. Maybe you should have Michael. Dang. He's building a raft. I was thinking I would help him out. Maybe finally get the hell out of here. What are you helping? Eh. Nah, I'm good. 
No thanks. Girl, you ain't got it on him no more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's not the boss, is he? Oh. But he's your father, and he cares about you, and you need to show him respect. Damn it! What is wrong with you? I catch you with my son again. I'll kill you. <laughs> You're a jerk. What'd you say to me? Mr. Locke didn't do anything wrong. He's my friend. He's not anymore. You don't care about me. You never cared about me. What? You want to see back from my mom, Dad? Where were you when I was growing up, huh? No way. Listen, Walt, it's it's complicated. I don't even care. You're not my father. You're going to punish me for something I can't change? Fine. But you will listen to me. Hello, Michael. Mm-mm-mm. Girl, where my baby at? Did you bring Walt? No, no, he's at home. Then why are you here? All right. I'm covering all your medical costs. What? What is this about? Stay away from Walt forever. Brian and I are getting married. We're moving to Italy at the end of the month. Brian's taking over the firm's Rome offices. Sounds like Brian's on a roll. And he wants to adopt Walt. Yeah. What? Yeah. Nope. Uh, dude, the kid's gone. What? He just grabbed the dog and took off. Where the hell is he? What? I'm not in the mood for your games, man. Where's Walt? Walt's not here, Mike. Don't lie to me. Hey, man, he's not here. Look around. I'm not talking to <laughs> you. I told him this morning that he couldn't be around me anymore. You really didn't have to help me now. I could have managed. Okay. Social media. <laughs> I'm a look. <laughs> <laughs> Walk away. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Whoa. What's that? Sleeping in like, that's too much. Hey, Brian, look. Look. I'm not looking. Acknowledge me. <laughs> oh my god. Is it dead? So did Brian pick up on what I was going on? I think so. I need to talk to you. Susan, know you're here, man? She's dead. Susan died yesterday. She told me she wanted you to have custody of all she what? Right. Well, I think she just thought, well, I mean, since you're his father. I haven't been his father in nine years. She didn't tell you. She wanted me to have custody of him. This is your idea. Yeah. I'm a wreck right now. Okay. Don't you want to I'm supposed to give a damn about you? Hey, I just lost the woman I love her, and I can't be his father. I just shut up, bitch. What are you talking about? You're the only father he knows. It's more than that. Well, then what? There's just there's something about him. Sometimes when he's around, things happen. Is his name Damien? He's different somehow. <laughs> Is this the omen? Walt should be home from school any minute. What's that? Something I think Walt should have. Oh. All oh, his letters. Wow. No way. Yeah, I remember that. You got pissed. Yeah, pissed. You pissed now. Yeah. Ow! Hey, Walt! You know what? You know why that polar bear is after him? That's what he was reading here, in yep, the comments yep. when he was staring at it. It was in the Dang. Mm. I'm your father. <laughs> Look at his face. Where's Brian? Oh, God. Mm. Brian's not here. Brian loves you very much. And he wants you to stay with him, but it's not his choice. It's mine. You'll still have your dog. Vincent isn't mine. He's Brian. Brian said you could have him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh snap. He done stuck with a dog. <laughs> oh. Dad. Hang on! <laughs> Listen here. I want you to get across the back and don't fall. Whoa! Hold it up. Do it now! <laughs> Okay, lock now! She didn't throw them away either, which means, you know, somewhere inside she wanted you to have them. Oh! This 
joke is in the book. <laughs> Twirling his hair. <laughs> Class, diary. Was reading her diary? Yeah, I know. I'm equally scum. Just listen to me. I had that weird dream again, the one with the black rock I can't get away from. I tried to leave it, but it won't let me. Black, black rock. Black rock. They're just dreams, Charlie. No. Saeed mentioned black rock before. The French woman said something about her team returning from the yeah. black rock. Maybe it's the triangle on the map. Maybe it's where Claire was taken. Maybe she's there. Maybe. Charlie, we all want to find Claire. But there's no sense going out into the jungle in the middle of the night. Okay, I heard that. I don't think that whistle's working, John. <laughs> you can't hear everything, bro. Was... <laughs> Soon you learn that the better. Well, I heard that. That's it. It's clear. Is it her for real? I think so, yeah. 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 That's Claire! Wow. Claire. episode 14 uh titled i hate susan um <laughs> <laughs> susan who <laughs> evil just evil <laughs> just evil we probably, I don't know if we, do we not like this episode more now than the first watch? Because the first watch, you was like irritated anyway. Yeah, it was. I'm still irritated. And you're still irritated. Just to see it all over again. Mm -hmm. Just to see the fact that that was dirty, how she did it. All the way around. Took the job before they even talked about it. We got to go all the way back until... Uh, her being pregnant, looking at the the crib and everything, mm -hmm. he was like, "Yeah, you can support us." Mm -hmm. and I was like, "This joke ain't working." <laughs> so they agreed that she would continue working, yeah, and she... then turned it around on him mm -hmm. because she knew that if she took Walt, that going to court, he wouldn't have. Mm -hmm. A case at all mm -hmm. because he wasn't working mm -hmm. and he wasn't having any income coming in. Mm -hmm. Not saying that she plotted it all along, like while she was pregnant. She but did. She gets no benefit of the job. That's the way you looked at me, though. <laughs> None whatsoever. No. Um. So yeah, I mean, it was like a plot from the beginning, I guess. But. To be hired by the guy that she eventually ended up with. And then lying on him saying that he wanted to adopt Walt. Right. That wasn't the issue at all. Because Brian was like, hey, can I say something? Although she's dead. <laughs> but back in the day when she was alive. I never wanted a kid. I just I, wanted I, I, I just, That's all. That's it. That's it. And your kid is weird. And your kid is very, very weird. <laughs> like, when he's around, things happen. <laughs> I mean, he's a kid. Things happen. It was just... So, um... And she kept every freaking letter that he wrote. That baby mad. That baby over there is mad. This one. This big baby right here. Man, look here. Baby, baby. I wish they had a kept on with the storyline about Michael. I mean, Walt, I know he got too grown. Yeah, but I know he got, he grew up too fast. Yeah, he, 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 he started off with Walt and ended up on Insecure. Right. Because <laughs> like, he was like 6'8", full mustache. <laughs> the whole nine, right? Right. He was grown. Grown, grown. Yeah, so he grew up too fast, so they couldn't, you know, keep Continue that on with the story I think line. that would have been special. The name of the episode <laughs> <laughs> um okay let's say okay, okay from the beginning michael named walt after his dad um what john said to walter see it before you do it mm -hmm. with the knife he did he said do you understand what the mind's eye is he said yeah that's the you being able to see it before seeing it before you do it 
and then it manifests, basically. So he was able to see the knife in the tree, and when he did it, he did it. And Baywatch was like, what? <laughs> he did it, man. Um, John said to Michael, he's different about Walter. Um, and then Michael was upset. He said he can't grow up in this place because everybody was getting familiar and just settling in, making golf courses and doing all this other stuff, making... Um, what did he say? Walter, um, Walter, uh, water, uh, infiltration, no, infiltration, in, systems. infiltration systems and stuff like that. I'm sorry. Um, but he was like, no, he was like, he can't grow up here in this place. So he wanted to do build a raft then. Um, before all of that, uh, the phone call, when he was talking to Susan, he said, I'm not coming for you. I'm coming to get my son. I'm getting my son back. Click. Boom. Hit by car. Uh, <laughs> then she came and visited him and didn't even bring my, Michael. You was about to say my baby? No. Nah. <laughs> you took that personal. Dude, like, evil. To tell him that she was taking care of his medical bills because, in turn, that she was getting married. And that Brian wanted to adopt the baby. Now, he can't have a fit. He can't get up and walk around. and He's in a cast, in a wheelchair. Very vulnerable. And she was like, well, this is a nice time for me to go visit. And tell him about what's getting ready to happen. Um, yeah, so we we thinking about all the plots and stuff that she was doing, which was wrong. Brian said he's different to Michael about Walter. So you mentioned it. It was mentioned three times. In this episode, um, John said it, Brian said it, and did I say John already? Mm hmm. Oh. Oh, maybe twice then. Yeah, I think it was just twice. Um, the comic book. I'm sorry, I was just getting my words together. The comic book played a key role in this episode, too. Um, I say two, but it's probably the only one with the comic book, right? Um, so he was looking at the comic book, and he had the, you know, the polar bear. Of course, it was in Spanish, because it wasn't his. It was Hugo's. Mm -hmm. um, so, ooh, baby, I'm sorry. So he was looking at it, and then Walt, Michael was like, come on, go with me, blah, blah, blah. He was like, no, I'm busy. I'm doing something. And then he was like, okay, whatever. Come on with me. Let's build this raft. Then as he was talking to him a little later, and he realized that every time he disappeared, he ended up with John Locke. He Ooh. threatened John Locke's life. He said, if my son, if, if you are near my son again, I'm going to kill you. Yep, yeah, I'm going to do that. And he was like, you know what? In that case, whatever, whatever, and threw the daggone comic book in the fire. And as he was looking at it, you know, he got that little twinkle in his eyes, mm -hmm. as he did with the bird. Mm -hmm. You're not looking at me. You're not looking at me. You're not looking at me, Brian. Acknowledge me. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, the bird smacks it to the window, dies. And he said, is he dead? He said, yeah. He said, mm. Turned around and went on back to where he was. So, um, it was a lot of lies, a lot of lying going on in this episode. A lot of lying and then a lot of truth. I think John was probably the only one that was actually telling the truth throughout this whole thing. Um, and to be fair... He really didn't have the opportunity to be a dad, mm -hmm. and it was just on him. Just mm -hmm. like, here it is. Oh, guess what? Your son that you had nine years ago, ten years ago, here he is. I didn't want you to be in his life, but here he is. So the whole idea of him not being in his life wasn't even Brian's fault. Mm -mm. I'm pretty sure if Brian had to say so, he would have been not in Amsterdam with them. He would have been in New York with his dad. Mm -hmm. He didn't want the child no way. And since mm -hmm. she died, he was like, oh, there's an opportunity. I could be free. Mm -hmm. Freedom. <laughs> I think that was sad, though. Mm -hmm. That was sad. Yeah. That was sad on both parts. Sad that he was forced to um, go with a stranger. That was his biological father. But at the time, what? He didn't have no test kit to say, okay, yeah, this is my dad for real. He had to go with him because... His mom was dead. Mm -hmm. He said, oh, by the way, you can you have your dog. He said, that's not my dog. That's Brian's dog. He said, yeah, Brian wants you to have your yeah. dog. <laughs> because 
And he jacked him up in his apartment, too. Because how dare you say, I didn't want that child. Mm -hmm. And that's my child you're talking about. Mm -hmm. How dare you? The audacity. The goal. How dare you? Yeah, that part. <laughs> how dare you? How dare me? How dare you? But anyway. So that was that episode. I'm sorry. Didn't that was that. Notes. And Claire uh, came scrambling back at the end. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. After Charlie then read, read her doggone diary. Okay. Him avoiding the diary was <laughs> hilarious. That part. Right. Jack, Shannon, and Saeed was the one that was looking at the uh, looking at the map. Yeah. Um, Susan to Mike. Okay. So Susan to Michael. I wrote it down because I thought it was important to write it down. Susan said to Michael, keep holding on if you want for Walt. Like. With him ending up on on the island, it was like he was holding on for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That's all I got. So let us know what you guys thought. We'll see y'all next time. Love y'all. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Hey, wake up.